Stocker Channing, a renowned actress, has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. She is best known for her iconic role as Rizzo in the classic film Grease, which transcended generations and remains a beloved musical. Channing's versatile acting skills have been showcased in various films, television shows, and stage productions, earning her critical acclaim and numerous accolades. Throughout her enduring career, Channing has been a part of some of the most captivating and memorable performances in recent history. She has won the hearts of audiences and critics alike with her ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance. From her early days on Broadway to her more recent roles on television, Channing has consistently delivered compelling performances that have resonated with audiences worldwide. Channing's contributions to the entertainment industry are immeasurable. She has helped to shape the thespian landscape with her unique talent and has inspired countless actors and actresses who have followed in her footsteps. Her work is a testament to the power of storytelling and the enduring appeal of the human experience. Despite the many accolades and awards she has received, Channing remains humble and dedicated to her craft. She continues to push herself as an actress, exploring new roles and challenging herself to grow and evolve as an artist. Her legacy is one of passion, dedication, and a commitment to excellence that has inspired generations of performers and audiences alike. Stalker Channing is a well-known actress, best recognized for her iconic role as Rizzo in the movie Grease. She has also made a name for herself on stage and television, including her work in the West Wing. Do you have a favorite performance of Stalker Channing's? What do you think defined her career? There are many interesting facts about Stalker Channing that might surprise you. For instance, did you know that she was born in New York and studied acting at the prestigious Royal Academy of Dramatic Art in London? We'd love to hear about your favorite memories or personal experiences related to Stalker Channing. Share them with us in the comments below. Throughout this video, we'll be sharing some fun, shocking, and even sad facts about Stalker Channing's life and career. So, stay tuned. Stalker Channing, born Susan Williams Channing in 1944, was raised in New York City by a father who was a prominent journalist and a mother with a background in acting. This upbringing exposed her to the world of media and performing arts from an early age. Channing's parents encouraged her creative interests and she began acting in school productions. During her time at the prestigious Radcliffe College, Channing continued to pursue acting. She was heavily influenced by her drama teacher, Daniel Subber, who recognized her talent and nurtured her skills. Subber's guidance was instrumental in shaping Channing's path towards professional acting. After college, Channing moved to New York City to pursue a career in acting. She became involved with the experimental theater scene, where she worked with influential figures such as Joseph Chaikin, founder of the Open Theater. Chaikin's innovative approach to acting had a profound impact on Channing's development as an actress. Channing's early career was marked by her work in off-Broadway and regional theater productions. During this time, she also appeared in several television shows and films. Her breakthrough role came in 1978 when she starred as Betty Rizzo in the film Grease, which brought her widespread recognition and acclaim. Throughout her career, Channing has continued to work in theater, film, and television. She has been influenced by various mentors and experiences, but her passion for acting and dedication to her craft have remained constant. Channing's ability to adapt to different roles and mediums has made her a respected and enduring figure in the entertainment industry. Stalker Channing is an accomplished actress, well known for her work on stage and screen. She was born in New York City in 1944 and began her career in the late 1960s. Channing gained widespread recognition for her role as Rizzo in the 1978 film Grease, which remains a classic to this day. Throughout her career, Channing has demonstrated her versatility as an actress, taking on a wide range of roles in both comedies and dramas. She has won numerous awards for her work, including a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Play for her performance in Violet, and an Emmy Award for her role in The West Wing. Channing's contributions to the world of acting are significant and enduring. She has left her mark on the entertainment industry and continues to be a respected and admired figure in the field. Her work has resonated with audiences for generations, and she remains a beloved and celebrated actress. Stockard Channing, born Susan William Stockard, 
discovered her passion for acting in her early years. She was raised in a family that encouraged creativity and had a mother who was a Broadway actress. Channing's first taste of acting came in high school when she appeared in a production of The Crucible. This experience sparked her interest in acting and she decided to pursue it further. Channing attended the prestigious Radcliffe College where she continued to act in college productions. However, she felt that her true calling was in professional acting and she left college early to pursue a career on stage. Channing's decision to leave college was met with some resistance from her family, but she was determined to make it as an actress. Channing's big break came in 1969 when she was cast in the Broadway production of The Girl in the Freudian Slip. Her performance was well received and she began to gain recognition in the New York theater scene. Channing's passion for acting was fueled by her love for storytelling and her desire to connect with audiences. She once said, I love the immediacy of the theater. I love the fact that it's a live medium. I love the fact that you get an immediate response from an audience. Channing's career has spanned over five decades and she has become one of the most respected actresses in the industry. She has been nominated for numerous awards, including a Tony Award for Best Actress in a Play and an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Channing's passion for acting has never waned and she continues to inspire aspiring actors with her dedication and talent. Stalker Channing, known for her portrayal of Rizzo in Greece, was already in her 30s when filming began in 1977. Many of her co-stars, such as Olivia Newton-John, who played Sandy, were also well past their teenage years. This age disparity led to criticism from reviewers like Roger Ebert, who felt the cast appeared too old for their high school roles. Despite this, Channing continued to work with her Greece co-stars in other projects. For instance, she and Dinah Manoff, who played Marty in Greece, appeared together in Staying Together after the release of Greece. The age of the Greece cast was not an isolated incident, as it is common for actors to play younger characters. However, the criticism highlights the importance of authenticity and relatability in portraying teenagers on screen. Nonetheless, Channing's performance as Rizzo remains iconic, and her career has continued to flourish beyond her role in Greece. Stalker Channing, like many actors, faced obstacles early in her career. She encountered financial struggles and skepticism from the industry. However, she demonstrated resilience by persevering through these challenges. Channing found creative solutions to overcome hurdles, ultimately carving out a successful path in the entertainment industry. Stalker Channing gained recognition for her portrayal of Rizzo in the movie Grease. Interestingly, when Rosie O'Donnell played Rizzo on Broadway, she was the same age Channing was when she first took on the role in the film. O'Donnell even admitted to channeling Channing during her Broadway performance. Despite her success, Channing has never appeared in a film nominated for a Best Picture Oscar. However, both she and her Grease co-star John Travolta have been nominated for Academy Awards in the past. Channing has had more success with the Emmys, taking home several awards throughout her career. It's worth noting that while no one in the Grease cast has won an Academy Award, Channing's career has been marked by several notable achievements. She has established herself as a talented actress, known for her work in film, television, and theater. Stalker Channing's career has seen several breakthrough moments, each revealing her immense talent and adaptability. In 1973, she starred in The Girl Most Likely 2, which showcased her comedic timing and acting range. Her portrayal of Betty Rizzo in the 1978 film Grease brought her widespread recognition and critical acclaim. Later, in 1982, Channing took on the role of Louisa Kittredge in the play Six Degrees of Separation, earning a Tony Award for her exceptional performance. This role not only solidified her status as a serious actress, but also demonstrated her ability to tackle complex and challenging characters. In 1999, Channing joined the cast of The West Wing as First Lady Abby Bartlett, garnering five Emmy nominations for her work on the show. This iconic role allowed her to showcase her dramatic skills and versatility as an actress. Throughout her career, Stalker Channing has consistently delivered compelling and memorable performances, leaving a lasting impact on the world of acting. Her numerous accolades and the respect she has earned from peers and critics alike are a testament to her enduring talent and dedication to her craft. 
In December 2004, Stalker Channing faced legal troubles when she was arrested and charged with two misdemeanor counts of driving under the influence. Despite this incident, Channing has had a successful career in the film industry. She played the role of Freddie Bigard in the 1975 film The Fortune, where she starred alongside two Oscar winners, Warren Beatty and Jack Nicholson, and two Oscar nominees, Stalker Channing and Christopher Guest. It's worth noting that Channing was paid significantly less than her co-stars in The Fortune. While Beatty and Nicholson each received one $500,000 for their work in the film, Channing was paid only $20,000. This pay disparity highlights the gender wage gap that has long been prevalent in the film industry. Despite being paid less than her male co-stars, Channing's talent and dedication to her craft have earned her critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. Her performance in The Fortune is just one example of her ability to hold her own alongside some of Hollywood's biggest stars. Stalker Channing, a renowned actress, is known for her unique approach to her work. She has a deep artistic vision that is reflected in her varied roles on stage, television, and film. Channing's creative process is characterized by thorough research and a commitment to understanding her character's motivations and experiences. She once mentioned in an interview that she likes to explore her character's backgrounds, often creating detailed histories for them to better understand their perspectives. Her style is unique in its subtlety and nuance. Channing has a knack for conveying complex emotions with a simple look or gesture, making her performances deeply resonant. She once stated, I'm always looking for the truth in a scene, not just the lines. This commitment to authenticity is a hallmark of her work. Channing's personal experiences and worldview often influence her work. She is a strong advocate for women's rights and has often chosen roles that reflect this commitment. Her portrayal of First Lady Abby Bartlett on the television show The West Wing was one such role where she depicted a powerful, intelligent woman navigating a male-dominated world. Channing's work is a testament to her versatility and depth as an actress. She has the ability to seamlessly transition between comedic and dramatic roles, always bringing a unique perspective and depth to her characters. Her performances are not just entertaining, but also thought-provoking, inviting audiences to explore the human condition in all its complexity. Stalker Channing, known for her role as Carol Ann in To Wong Fu, thanks for everything. Julie Numar was considered for the part of Lois Lane in Superman, but lost the role to Margaret Kidder. In the film, her character, along with Vita Boheme and Noxima Jackson, names men they want to save, including Keanu Reeves. Interestingly, both Swayze and Leguizamo, who starred alongside Channing in the movie, had worked with Reeves in the past. In April 2010, Channing was in New York City and Florida, continuing her successful career in acting. With her talent and dedication, she has become a well-known figure in the entertainment industry, despite not getting the Superman role. Stalker Channing, a prominent figure in the acting industry, is highly regarded for her diverse roles and contributions to storytelling. With a career spanning over five decades, she has significantly influenced acting techniques and storytelling in both stage and screen productions. Channing is best known for her Emmy-winning role as First Lady Abby Bartlett in the political drama The West Wing. Her portrayal brought depth and humanity to the character, elevating the show's narrative. According to TV Guide, Channing's performance humanized the political landscape, making it relatable and engaging for audiences. On stage, Channing's groundbreaking performance as Mame Dennis and Mame showcased her vocal and comedic abilities, earning her a Tony Award. Her work in this production, as described by the New York Times, revolutionized the way musical theater addressed mature women's stories, paving the way for more complex and nuanced roles. Channing's impact extends beyond her own performances. She has inspired countless actors and actresses, including Emmy-winning actress Allison Janney. In an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Janney shared, Stalker Channing's work has been a guiding light for me. Her ability to balance humor and drama is unparalleled, and I've learned so much from watching her. Channing's influence on storytelling is also evident in the way writers craft characters for mature women. Her roles have challenged stereotypes and showcased the complexities of female characters, leading to more dynamic and authentic storylines. In conclusion, Stockard Channing's contributions to the acting industry are significant and far-reaching. 
Her ability to bring depth and humanity to characters has left an indelible mark on both stage and screen productions, inspiring future generations of actors and writers. Stalker Channing is known for her diverse roles, including Aunt Frances in Practical Magic and Rizzo in Grease. In Practical Magic, Channing and co-star Diane Weiss clothing harkens back to the early 20th century, hinting at their characters' true ages. As for Grease, Channing replaced Lucy Arnaz as Rizzo after Arnaz's mother, Lucille Ball, intervened. Channing has also had a successful career on Broadway, earning six Tony nominations and one win. She won the Best Actress Award in 1985 for a day in the death of Joe Egg and received nominations for the House of Blue Leaves in 1986, Six Degrees of Separation in 1991, Four Baboons Adoring the Sun in 1992, A Revival of a Lion in Winter in 1999, and Pal Joey in 29. Her performance in Six Degrees of Separation also earned her an Oscar nomination for the film adaptation. Stalker Channing, an accomplished actress, values her privacy and keeps her personal life low-key. However, she has spoken about her love for animals and has been seen supporting animal rights causes. She has also been involved in various philanthropic efforts, including supporting organizations that focus on education and social justice. Channing has been a longtime supporter of the Muzzle Loading Institute, which aims to protect the rights of hunters and promote responsible hunting practices. She has also been involved with the Children's Health Fund, which works to provide health care to disadvantaged children and families. In addition, Channing has been a vocal advocate for women's rights and gender equality. She has supported organizations such as the Women's Campaign Fund, which works to elect women to public office, and the Miss Foundation for Women, which invests in women's leadership and community-based solutions to promote social, economic, and reproductive justice. Channing's personal values and interests have often informed her work as an actress. She has taken on roles that reflect her commitment to social justice and gender equality, such as her portrayal of First Lady Abby Bartlett on the television show The West Wing. Through her philanthropic efforts and her work as an actress, Channing continues to make a positive impact on the world around her. Stocker Channing, a well-known actress, began her academic journey at the Madeira School in McLean, Virginia. After completing her high school education, she went on to build a successful career in the film industry. Channing's feature film role debut came in the form of an uncredited appearance as an ER nurse in the movie The Hospital. However, it was in the film The Fortune that she made her credited theatrical movie debut, playing the character Freddie Bigard. These early roles marked the beginning of a long, and distinguished career for Channing, who has since become a household name in the world of acting. Her talent and dedication have earned her numerous accolades and the admiration of fans and industry professionals alike. Stalker Channing, a highly respected actress, has left an undeniable mark in the entertainment industry. With a career spanning over five decades, she's known for her versatile roles in film, television, and theater. Her portrayal of Rizzo in the movie Grease and First Lady Abby Bartlett in the TV series The West Wing are among her most iconic roles. Channing's advice to aspiring professionals is to stay true to yourself and constantly hone your craft. She emphasizes the importance of resilience as the entertainment industry can be challenging. She encourages young actors to be patient as success doesn't usually come overnight. It's about the journey, not just the destination. As for the future, Channing continues to seek out complex and intriguing roles that challenge her as an actress. She's not one to rest on her laurels, always looking for new ways to grow and contribute to her field. She believes that the future of acting lies in its ability to tell diverse and inclusive stories that resonate with broad audiences. In essence, Channing's legacy is one of dedication, versatility, and impact. Her future contributions promise to be just as significant inspiring aspiring actors to pursue their dreams with passion and persistence. Stocker Channing brought the character of Rizzo to life in the movie adaptation of Grease, and interestingly, the hickeys she sported in the film were real. Jeff Conaway, who played Kenneke, was responsible for applying them. Before Channing took on the role, 
both Bette Midler and Cher were considered for it. However, Midler was passed over after asking the producer and director, Mike Nichols, about his previous work. Similarly, Cher also met with Nichols to discuss the part but wasn't cast. On Broadway, Adrian Barbo had originally played Rizzo. But when the movie came out, Barbo, who was appearing on Maud, was passed over in favor of Channing, who is one year older than her. Despite this, Channing's portrayal of Rizzo became iconic and remains etched in viewers' memories. Later, Channing replaced Midler in the film, The Fortune, demonstrating her versatility as an actress. Despite the challenges and setbacks, Channing's talent and dedication to her craft shone through, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. Stalker Channing, a renowned actress, has had a remarkable career spanning over five decades. She is best known for her iconic role as Rizzo in the movie Grease, but her work extends far beyond that. Channing has demonstrated her passion for acting in various stage productions, television shows, and films. She began her career in the 1970s, appearing in several off-Broadway productions. Her breakthrough role came in 1978 when she starred in Grease, which catapulted her to fame. Despite this success, Channing did not rest on her laurels. She continued to challenge herself by taking on diverse and complex roles, showcasing her versatility and talent. Channing's work in theater is particularly noteworthy. She has won numerous awards for her stage performances, including a Tony Award for her role in Victor Victoria. Her ability to bring characters to life and engage audiences has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. In addition to her work in theater, Channing has had a successful career in television. She starred in the popular political drama, The West Wing, earning five Emmy nominations for her role as First Lady Abby Bartlett. Her portrayal of this character was nuanced and compelling, further solidifying her status as a talented actress. Throughout her career, Channing has shown that creativity and perseverance can lead to great success. Her passion for acting and her willingness to take risks have resulted in a body of work that has transcended time and genre. She is a true testament to the power of creativity and the enduring impact that one person can have on an industry. In conclusion, Stocker Channing's journey in the entertainment industry is a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Her innovative approach to acting and her willingness to take on diverse roles have left an indelible mark on the industry. She is a true inspiration to aspiring actors and a reminder that with hard work and dedication, anything is possible. Stockard Channing, born in 1944, is an accomplished actress who has made a significant impact in the entertainment industry. She played a character half her age in the popular film Grease in 1978, showcasing her versatility and youthful spirit. In addition, Channing provides the voiceover for the film about the history of Pearl Harbor, displayed at the USS Arizona Memorial for the National Park Service. This contribution highlights her respect and appreciation for historical events. Channing's talent is widely recognized, earning her a Tony Award in 1985 for her performance in A Day in the Death of Joe Egg. Her ability to captivate audiences and convey deep emotions is a testament to her skill as an actress. Despite her numerous achievements, Channing remains humble and committed to her craft, continually pushing boundaries and exploring new roles. Stocker Channing is an accomplished actress known for her work in films like Twilight and Practical Magic. In Twilight, she starred alongside four Academy Award winners and two nominees, demonstrating her ability to hold her own among Hollywood's elite. Channing's portrayal of Verna in Twilight showcased her talent and versatility. In Practical Magic, Channing played Aunt Frances, and eagle-eyed viewers may have noticed the name Maria's Island Post Office in the background during a scene with Aunt Frances and Aunt Jet. This small detail is just one example of the many ways Channing brings depth and authenticity to her roles. Before becoming a successful actress, Channing attended Harvard University's Radcliffe College, where she earned a B in history and literature. Her academic background is just one of the many facets that make Channing a well-rounded and fascinating individual. In summary, Stocker Channing is a highly respected actress who has worked with some of the biggest names in Hollywood. She has a strong academic background and brings a unique perspective to every role she plays. Stocker Channing is an accomplished actress known for her work in films like The Hospital, where she played an ER, 
nurse alongside two Oscar winners, George C. Scott and Patty Chayefsky. Channing herself was Oscar nominated for this role. Channing was in a long-term relationship with Dan Gillum from 1990 until his passing in 2014. Their relationship was marked by a deep connection and mutual support in their personal and professional lives. Channing's passion for acting led her to study drama at HB Studio in Greenwich Village, New York City. Here, she honed her craft and developed the skills that would later make her a household name. Throughout her career, Channing has demonstrated her versatility and commitment to her craft, taking on a wide range of roles and delivering consistently strong performances. Her work has left a lasting impact on the world of acting and continues to inspire aspiring actors today. Stocker Channing is an actress known for her work in films and television. She played the role of Aunt Frances in the 1998 film Practical Magic alongside Evan Rachel Wood and Mark Feuerstein. Interestingly, Channing is not fluent in French, but she once lied about it to secure a free trip to Paris for the French dubbing of the film's international versions. In 1999, Channing and John Spencer, who played the role of Leo McGarry in Practical Magic, both starred in the political drama series The West Wing. Channing played the character of Abby Bartlett, the First Lady, while Spencer played the role of Chief of Staff, Leo McGarry. Channing also played the role of Verna in the 1998 film Twilight, which was released the same year as Practical Magic. In Twilight, she acted alongside Paul Newman, Susan Sarandon, and Gene Hackman. Channing's career spans over five decades, and she has received numerous accolades for her work including a Tony Award and an Emmy Award. Her ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance has earned her a reputation as a talented actress in the industry. Stocker Channing, best known for her role as Rizzo in the movie Grease, has faced her share of personal struggles. One of the most heart-wrenching facts about her life is the loss of her brother, Jamie, who passed away due to suicide when Stocker was only 19 years old. This tragic event had a profound impact on her and her family, and she has spoken publicly about the importance of addressing mental health issues. Despite the challenges she has faced, Stockard has built a successful career as an actress with numerous film, television, and stage credits to her name. If you're a fan of Stockard Channing's work, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. From her iconic role as Rizzo in Grease to her Emmy-winning performance in The West Wing, Channing has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her ability to bring depth and complexity to each character she plays has captivated audiences for decades. We encourage you to share this post with your friends and family who are also fans of Stockard Channing's work. By liking and sharing our content, you help us to continue celebrating the creative spirits that shape entertainment. If you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing for more content that highlights the accomplishments of talented actors and actresses like Stockard Channing. Your support is vital to our continued success. So, let's hear it, fans. What's your favorite performance by Stockard Channing, and how has her work resonated with you over the years? Share your thoughts with us in the comments, and let's celebrate the enduring impact of this remarkable thespian.